Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss metamerism and tagmatization. Metamerism, if we look at the meaning of metamerism, meta mean after, mar mean part, and ism mean phenomena. It is a phenomena in which different parts of an animal body are repeated. So if we look at the definition, segmental arrangement of body parts in which each body part each body is divided into different segments repeatedly such an animal is known as metamerically segmented metamerism was first uh, observed in phylum annelida which include uh, earthworms oligochaetae nares polychaetae and class hyrodinia so i am taking the example of uh, uh, earthworm to discuss metamerism but first of all, we are going to discuss what are the types of metamerism. There are two main types of metamerism, which are known as homonomous metamerism and heteronomous metamerism. In homonomous metamerism, all the segments of the body are identical. They have same arrangement of body parts. While in heteronomous metamerism, body parts are not identical. So first of all, we are going to discuss homonomous metamerism. In homonomous metamerism usually is complete and the segments of the body can be seen internally as well as externally. So if we look at the diagram of an earthworm, body of an earthworm, its body has been divided into identical same segments which can be seen from external to the body and these are also present internal to the body which are separated uh, by septa or septum. So these uh, body parts which are uh, the body which has been divided into identical segments are known as metamerically segmented animals. So discuss uh, uh, to study metamerism in detail. So I have taken a um, piece of a segment and enlarged it with the help of a diagram as you can see in this diagram. So this is a one segment which include all the internal organs of the body. If we look at the external structure there is a cuticle which is outermost layer there is epidermis there is dorsal blood vessel ventral blood vessel subneural blood vessel at the same time there are present ct which help in locomotion in the center you can see the intestine which is digestive system or gut uh, which contain tiflosol intestine it also contain uh, longitudinal and circular muscles which help in the locomotion it contain nephridia which are known as metanephridium. There are pair of metanephridia present in each segment, reproductive organs, excretory organs, uh, uh, circulatory system that is all present inside this each segment. And these most of these uh, body organs are repeated in each segment. So they work independently in each segment. But uh, the digestive system which is tube-like which starts from the mouth and ends at the anus it usually passes through each segment and makes a tube-like structure inside the body. If you look at this diagram, as you can see in this diagram, this is the body of a, a earthworm. I have shown the internal structure. So these are the segments which you can see by externally and internally if you see there are different segments which are separated by septum which are known as septa. In the center you can see the digestive system which is in the form of gut, dorsal blood vessel, ventral blood vessel and also contain a cavity which is known as silom which is filled by a uh, silomic fluid and each body has been divided metamerically segmented from outside and inside so if a body is divided metamerically segmented from outside and inside that is known as complete or homonomous metamerism it uh, in the body can be divided uh, body can be seen and divided into different segments internally as well as externally so why this uh, metamerism has taken place instead of a single complete body their body has been divided into different parts why is that so so there are different uh, theories about that and there are different <coughs> advantages for that so i have summarized some advantages of metamerism the first advantage of metamerism is that arrangement of silomic spaces by dividing the body into different parts make it compartmentize compartmentalization in compartmentalization uh, different body parts or segments has been separated which are filled with silomic fluid in each in each uh, 
segment which help and also the muscles which help in the formation of a hydrostatic skeleton and this hydrostatic skeleton uh, which is produced by the uh, fluid present inside the siloam which is known as siloamic fluid helps in the uh, better way of locomotion growing activity and uh, uh, undulating movement which is uh, which is produced by these animals so this segmentization metamerism helps in the locomotion the second advantage of the metamerization is that lessen the impact of injury if some body parts sub segments of the body has been injured or has been destroyed or has been eaten by the predator the rest of the segments can uh, work and uh, perform the body function at regular rate and uh, if uh, sometime they can regenerate their body parts so that is very uh, advantages for these animals if they lose some body parts lose some segments they can still survive the next advantage for the metamerism is that they help in the growing activity as you know that earth is a growing animal it can eat uh, soil and make a hole inside the soil and uh, with help of its ct and muscles and uh, siloamic fluid pressure of the siloamic fluid hydrostatic pressure it can burrow inside the soil so if uh, this uh, metamerism it's very helpful in growing activity at the same time feeding locomotion and reproduction is more advantages if it is in the form of a metamerism uh, as i mentioned earlier these metamerism or these body segments uh, due to the presence of hydrostatic pressure help in the effective locomotory mechanism in this way they can deep penetrate deep inside the soil they can do undulating movement they can stiffen their body at much better position so that is why these animals like hyrodinia like polychaetes like earthworm they all their body has been segmented that is known as metamerism uh, metamerism uh, is usually also found in other uh, invertebrates and vertebrates like arthropods and vertebrates like human beings but this metamerism is not complete so that is known as incomplete um, metamerism incomplete metamerism is also known as heteronomous metamerism which is incomplete and can only be seen from the external to the body metamerism is not internal so each body part each body segment has different role inside the body but this kind of metamerism has different name that is known as tegmatization because body has been divided into different tegmata uh, if you look at the meaning of tegma tegma mean arrangement arrangement mean body parts arrangement of body parts in different styles if you look at the definition of tegmatization the specialization of the body region is known as tegmatization this is a basically metamerism but in different context so for this uh, for this to understand i have taken an example of an arthropod as you know that arthropod contain all the insects their body has been divided into three tegmata like first tegmata is head second tegmata is thorax and third tegmata is abdomen so that is why they are known as tegmatization and each body part each body segment can only be seen from externally this separation is not internal to the body and each tegmata has a different role for example head has a sensory organ including compound eyes antennae and brain and etc thorax contain uh, uh, appendages which are help in flying and running and walking they contain appendages in the wings and the last tegmata which is known as abdomen usually contain reproductive organs digestive system and other body parts which are present in the tooth. so these uh, segments have divided their role so that is why uh, each body part has different role that is why this is known as tegmatization the specialization of the body region in the same way there are some animals which have uh, created civilization like human beings their head is on the uh, anterior to the body which is also a tegmata tegmatization can only be seen can also be seen in human beings our body is composed of head which is like civilization which is a tegmata then neck which holds the head then there is a trunk which contain all the visceral organs and cavities then there are appendages arms and legs which help in the locomotion so that's all for today i hope uh, tegmatization and uh, uh, metamerism makes sense and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye